The person plus the athletic ability usually adds up to what kind of a football team you're going to have, so we have high expectations this year. Well, obviously the Great West, it's our last year in it, we want to win it. Uh, the Cal Poly started as champions, I think, when we first came into this league, and we want to go out with the championship trophy. So that's the first and foremost goal. Uh, the rest of it, you know, I'm a little bit different in how I approach things. We can only be as good as we can be each and every week, and that's what our goal is. We can't worry about how good the team is that we're playing. we got to worry about how good we're going to play. Hey, right there! We are going to stay Cal Poly Mustangs. Shoot, shoot. Scott Winnowiser has to be the player that we think he is. He's our biggest player on the offensive line. He's 6'5", 290 pounds. He's extremely athletic. Great expectations from Scott. He's also one of our captains. Art Munoz is a sixth year player, actually, because he's been hurt twice. We expect Art, with his experience, to be that kind of a player, too. Maurice McClure is another senior offensive lineman. That's, they've had 36 starts. They should be the strength of who we are in offense. As good as all our skill players are, from uh, Andre Bradis to Jake Romanelli to Mark Rogers, Deontay Williams, Dave Marr, we're only going to be as good as those guys are up front. Well, I don't think there's any question that we're skilled. I and mean, we have some speed on our football team on both sides of the ball. Asa Jackson, obviously, is the first guy to talk about on defense. And to see him grow and mature as a football player and as a young man, I think those are the things we're looking for in what we do. Kenny Jackson, as a junior inside linebacker, is going to be a great one for us. Uh, Gavin Cooper, when he gets healthy as a defensive end, is a great one. Eric Clemmy is a guy that's a senior defensive tackle and he's Mr. Blue Collar. He goes to work every day and does what he's supposed to do and does it at a very high level. I think the schedule's actually tougher, but the travel's not as demanding. This year, it's, it's a, the mileage is spread out a little bit. We are going to a lot of places, but the bottom line thing is we don't have to go five straight weeks. But when you have the likes of uh, the Great West Conference, San Diego State, Northern Illinois, they both won their games last year in bowls. Those are going to be tough football games for us to play. The University of Montana is always good. Eastern Washington currently number one in the nation and at our level. So we have some challenges, but th those are exciting things too. That's what you look forward to as a, as a football program. And I think our program is ready to meet those challenges. This is a great environment for the level that we play at. I think the happenings that surround it during the day from the tailgate party, the Stampede Club party outside, uh, to our band, to our students, to the community, uh, make this an exciting thing. Our players look forward to walking through that tunnel and getting on this Field. This is a great advantage for us and we look forward to the five games we play at home this year.